Embarrassing. Prince Harry's foolish act with Dutch King at Invictus meeting costs him dearly. Prince Harry met the Sovereign of the Netherlands, King Willem Alexander, on the final day of the Invictus Games. Prince Harry was spotted giving a warm welcome to the Invictus Games to King Willem Alexander, the Dutch head of state. The Duke of Sussex, wearing a dark blue suit and a blue shirt, was all smiles as he shook hands with the Sovereign. Also sporting a smart casual look, Willem Alexander briefly stopped to pose for a picture before being accompanied inside the venue where veterans and service personnel from around the world are taking part in the last competitions of this year's event. The two royals were accompanied by Mark de Cruyff, chairman of the ongoing tournament at The Hague. Harry and the monarch were later spotted inside the stadium, where they watched together a wheelchair basketball match between the Dutch and US team. In one picture, King Willem Alexander appears to be in stitches while Prince Harry speaks to him. Fans of the Duke of Sussex were quick to react to the cheerful photographs, with one seemingly mocking claims the Dutch king would snub the Invictus Games despite taking place in his country. Sharing two snaps of Willem Alexander and Harry looking at ease with one another, Twitter user at Invitzbeep wrote, This is what snubbing looks like, eh? Replying to this tweet, at Ritar wrote, King Willem and King Harry look like they are having a good time. I expect trolls to be pressed because I said King Harry. Another, at Portlandia62, tweeted, I think this qualifies as having an audience with Willem Alexander. Well done, Harry. Great games. Commenting on the snaps, at Facts and Two Cents added, Oh look it's Prince Harry and King Willem laughing and having a great time together at Invictus Games. The Dutch and British royal families have close links, as demonstrated in late March. King Willem Alexander travelled to London last month alongside his wife Queen Maxima and his mother and former Queen, Princess Beatrix, to attend the service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip. After the poignant ceremony, attended by several foreign royals, Beatrix also headed to a reception held in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Anglo-Netherlands Society, where she was joined by the Queen's cousins the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. Prince Harry talked of the resilience of the athletes in the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games where he said the wound is where the light enters you. The Duke of Sussex quoted the Persian poet Rumi, from the 13th century, whose words of encouragement and wisdom, were popular amongst the athletes at the Invictus camp, he said. Harry founded the Invictus Games to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, by giving them the challenge of competing in sporting events similar to the Paralympics. Speaking at the closing ceremony in The Hague in the Netherlands, Harry told the audience of how the wound is where the light enters you. He continued, you have all summited your mountain. And I could not be prouder of every single one of you. We, your friends and family, could not be prouder of who you are and what you represent, especially given what it's taken to get here. Mindset is everything. He added, from interviews that Invictus did across the park this week, and as some of you have shared with me personally, many would have taken their own life had it not been for these games. You made the choice to be here, to stay with us, to grow with us, and I can't explain how much it means to me and how much all of you mean to us. So thank you. This is a blueprint of what the wider world needs today, the power of resilience, the power of healing and the power of recovery. So if, or when, you feel alone, please know that you are not alone. This community is with you. We are all with you. To friends and family, we wouldn't be here without you. We thank you for sharing and shouldering the weight of our wounds, from vulnerability comes strength, and together all of us are defining the Invictus generation, in or out of uniform we stand up to injustice. We answer the call for help.